Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something exciting. These investment products are just about to launch by no less than probably your favorite investment app right now, Gcash. Specifically, these are Gcash Global Stocks, Gcash Crypto, and Gcash Philippine Stocks. Yes, these are just about to launch. And unfortunately, this video will not be an official sneak peek into these new Gcash features. What I'll be sharing today would be my expectations of what I think these products are going to be featuring. Gcash has already given us some tidbits about what to expect from these products and taking it from these write-ups and my experience from previous apps. I'll be sharing here with you what I'm expecting from these new Gcash investment features. I'm willing to put my money that what I'll be projecting here would be more or less what Gcash would actually be featuring. What do you think we'll be getting from them? And what are these new money-making opportunities that we now have via Gcash? Let's find out. So let's go through them one by one. Let's start with Gcash Global Stocks. Gcash Global Stocks is promising that you can now invest in stocks from the US stock market for as low as $1. So taking a page from the playbook of GoTrade, this really is a game changer. You can now buy global stocks without having to convert your money into US dollars. Now, if I read the prospectus right, this is definitely a new thing that's coming to us. Currently, the platforms that I'm using, again, GoTrade and eToro, these platforms are international platforms. So the currency being displayed is obviously at US dollar. So Gcash's foray into global stocks would actually be the first time for me to encounter buying global stocks but in Philippine currency. So I'm really curious how this plays out. I hope that Gcash won't have the foreign exchange rate too high. You know that the global markets are largely volatile. But on the other side of that, we also have our Philippine peso to US dollar exchange rate also fluctuating alongside this. So I'm really wondering how Gcash will attack this. I'm curious how this will further affect the US stock prices since there are many factors that are coming into the pricing. So global stocks at Philippine peso prices would be the first thing that I'm really excited about. So let's move on to the second expectation that I have from Gcash Global Stocks. While I'm excited about this new feature, realistically speaking, I think that GoTrade will still have the better user interface, better write-ups, and more dynamic charts when comparing it to Gcash. So this is not a knock on Gcash or to put it down. I'm simply saying that for Gcash's previous features with Ginvest, the charts are quite minimal and there aren't really much things that you could do other than buying and selling off your UITF and mutual fund. Aww. Again, if you were to go back to my previous videos, I think that eToro would even have more robust features when comparing to GoTrade. So if you're looking for more features, I think that eToro and other more advanced user platforms would be more fitting for you. I find eToro as a more feature rich. And then the second app that I'm using would be GoTrade. Not as much features, but really more for beginners. And then I'm expecting this feature from Gcash to be a little bit more basic. I'm thinking that in terms of displays, user interface, and buying and selling features, I think that Gcash would have more of a limited feature when compared to GoTrade and of course eToro. One of the key features that you can do in eToro, but not in GoTrade, would be specifying your entry and exit positions so you can actually define your buy price and your sell price. For GoTrade, you can't do this. Aww. And in the same way, I'm thinking that for Gcash's new feature for global stocks, I also don't think that you can define your specific entry and exit points. You can only buy and sell based on the current market rate. So with this feature, let's move on to Gcash Crypto. So in the same breath, I also feel like your crypto positions will just be based on the current market rate. So if you are using more advanced platforms such as Binance, I don't think that they will follow the Binance or eToro model where you can define your buy and sell positions beforehand. What I'm expecting from Gcash Crypto would be a user interface and features that are quite similar to Coins.ph or their competitor, Maya. I know that there have been a lot of criticism, a lot of backlash against Maya. They have high exchange rates for their crypto. They have high gas fees. So if Gcash plays it right, they should have lower exchange rates and also lower gas fees. 
So um, Gcash, if you are still working on the product, please take note, uh, Gcash, this is yours for the taking. And lastly, let's move on to Gcash's newest feature by making Philippine stocks now available through the app. Now for Gcash Philippine stocks, this icon is actually not yet available through the app. Aww. I've only read up on this based on a press release from Gcash and Globe. Now out of the three new investment products that Gcash is making available, I'm actually most excited about Philippine stocks now being available via Gcash. Well, since this is obviously a local initiative, I think that this is the area where Gcash can actually come out with the most number of features. I also think that this is the area where Gcash can make the most impact. I mean, I mentioned earlier when you're talking about global stocks, you really have different international players and different apps that you're trying to compete with. But with the Philippine stocks, Gcash is just competing with the older systems from our local brokerages. And quite frankly, I haven't seen a Philippine stocks app that is quite modern. I think that the current websites and apps that we have for the Philippine stock market are more geared towards advanced or even expert users. I think that the opportunities are really vast in really trying to simplify how to invest in the Philippine stock market and really making it more creative, perhaps more appealing, not only to those who are already familiar with the stock market, but more importantly, something that would really cater to new investors and maybe something that would even appeal to kids. They will be more knowledgeable and more adept when the time comes that they can invest in the Philippine stock market. So yes, those are the three things that are coming up. Again, that's Gcash Global Stocks, Gcash Crypto, and Gcash Philippine Stocks. Again, this is your unofficial sneak peek into these new features. So if my predictions and expectations turn out to be completely wrong, I'm sorry about that. If they turn out completely right, then I'm glad I was able to point you guys towards the right direction. Again, be very prudent when investing your money. If any of the platforms that I've mentioned here are quite foreign to you, you can check out my previous videos through the description section. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you haven't already, thanks again for watching guys and happy investing!